Hello, hello, welcome back. So this is a little um, kind of like a MMO or RPG kind of inventory um, program. So you could, you know, obviously this wouldn't be a game, but it'd be part of a game. Um, and this is making something like this. I tried to do a few times and I, I was not successful uh, earlier, but I came up with this idea and it worked really well. Um, I was able to do it in just probably three or four hours probably today. Um, so uh, this opens and closes the bag. That's all this button does. So um, this is just a panel, you know, and it makes it visible or not visible. And this is a loot button. So I'll go over kind of how this all works, but I'll just kind of show you what it does. You can loot, you can close and open the panel um, or the bag without any problems. You can move things around. Um, if you loot again after you move something, it knows that it can loot there, uh, it can loot, and then again, it'll jump down to here, and even though you put something in this next slot, it'll skip it, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can also make swaps like this. So you can swap these guys however you want, so there's no problem with that. You can go back to looting however you want. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Um, it's just a forum form application. This is a panel. This is just a picture box that you click on. There's a little button. And this is a picture box. Um, you don't see it um, on here. And I'll explain what this picture box is doing, you know, because you don't see it here. So I'll explain what that what's going on there. You've got two classes. One is a bag slot. So the bag slot has a grid number, uh, X grid number, a Y grid number, um, a graphical location and a Y graphical location. So I, this this bag is a six by six um, two dimensional array basically, and a grid grid number is anywhere from zero to five, X and Y. But the graphical location is basically the grid number times five, fifty. So this is fifty pixels, uh, fifty pixels, fifty pixels. So like the grid number of this uh, square would be, you know, uh, 0, 50, 100, 0, 50, 100. So this would be 100, 100 right there. And then that's just like its starting location. You know, if you draw it, start at 100, 100, and then 50, 50. So you'd get that, that square. So that's what these uh, graphical locations are. Boolean, is it full? So is there something in the bag? That's how I can move this and then loot because it knows that that goes back to empty and it'll skip all these until it gets to the next empty one. And then it takes an item. So an item is another class that I made and the item contains basically whatever your item would be. So it's a bag slot, just saying items go in bags, just like, you know, real life. Um, when you're building classes, think about things in the real world. So this item has a picture, uh, just a bitmap and it has a name and it has a number. I don't think I even used the name or number, so they weren't you know, particularly pertinent in this program, but I did use a picture, obviously. And you could, you could change this, um, you could change this uh, item uh, around. You could change these item, this uh, item class around. You could add, you know, whatever you wanted. If it was like a shield, you could go, you know, plus five to your defense or whatever um, for your game. So you could add whatever you want. You could just go, plus five, you know, so without messing around too much with the bag slots. So just think um, this item goes in in the bag and it does it right here. And on initialization, initialization when you call your constructors um, or your constructor, it's just going to set, um, you know, to null for the item. It's going to be null. And then is it full? Well, it's going to be set to false. So you put something in it. Okay, so let's go back to the code here. Um, the main code is going to be located in this panel um, bag one underscore click. So what this is, is this is you clicking on the panel. So the panel is basically this, these, this grid part. So when you click on this panel, you're calling this panel bag one dot click um, event. So uh, you click on that, and then two things can can happen when you click on here. 
you can go either into this if statement or this else statement. And those are the two things. And it's pretty simple. So hopefully I'll be able to walk you through this and you'll kind of have an idea. Oh, also you can, I'm going to put the code to this little program on my GitHub account and I'll put a link in the description so you can download this code if you want. And you know, it's all yours. You can splice it using your game. I don't care. Um, I have my permission. So uh, a few things you're going to want to know um, when you click, you need to know where your mouse is clicking, right? So that's what this XML is, X mouse location and Y mouse location. It's basically just this um, point to client um, function that you can use in the Windows forums and just a little um, math to get the, because there's a little 10 pixel gap here. So you have to adjust for that. Now, what determines if you go into this if loop? In player hand, that is this uh, right here. It's a bag slot. So it's a bag slot. And most of the variables um, I do not use in the bag slot. It doesn't, need to, it doesn't need to have a location for the bag slot. It's not pertinent. It just needs to have an item. So all I care about for that bag slot is the item. So I just used that variable um, in player hand dot x grid location. That's just that's a bag slot. Um, I just used it as like a boolean value, kind of um, kind of an on off. Negative one is uh, on. In this case, you know, we'll take you in, or um, I'll set it to one, and it'll take you into the else sta else statement. So it just it, it wasn't um, well. Hopefully, you just understand. Okay. So you've got the x uh, in player hand dot x grid number. If it's set to negative one, um, then you're going to go into these for loops. Now, these for loops, if you're new to coding, don't get confused here. Um, just double for loop is just pretty standard stuff. Um, and that's just going to loop through all these bag slots. So it's going to go 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. You know, it's going to go through all of these bag slots. That's all these for loops are doing until it finds the one that you want. Now, this little if statement here, if mouse location, XML, uh, is if, if the mouse location eats, uh, meets these parameters, so basically the um, bag slot dot grid number. So if I click, click here on this, it's going to um, no, this is where I'm clicking because of these X graphic locations. Each bag slot, um, each bag slot has an X and Y graphical location. And if I click anywhere inside of it, you can see I did a plus 50 here. So that's going to be the grid location and then the grid graphic location plus 50. All right. So if, if it, if I click inside of it, it'll go, it'll go inside. And then the first thing it does is this if statement. Once we get inside this uh, this this if block, is another if statement. If it is item dot equal to null, it's going to break out. So that's why when I click here, nothing happens. It's getting to this if statement and then it's breaking out because it's set to null. But if I click here, because it's not set to null, it'll continue with the code. So that's how you avoid um, avoid that. Now um, in player hand dot dot x grid number that is just this original if statement um, just so and so the next time you'll have something in your hand so you pick something up and then now something's in your hand so the next time I click on this it's not going to go to this if statement it's going to go to the else statement so that's why that's there I'm going to move this down a little bit okay now the Temporary item equals in player hand dot item. I could probably do without that line of code, um, so I'm not going to talk about it. I think you know I haven't messed around with it, but I think I could just go ahead and rip that right out of there um, without any any problems. So I may refactor that a little bit later. Um, in player hand dot item equals bag slot x dot item. So this is where you're actually taking this item and you're moving it into, um, you're, technically you're duplicating it, um, into the in player hand dot item, which remember is its own uh, little 
bag slot. So in player hand out item. It's just a bag slot. Okay, so now we go bag slot xy dot items equals temporary item. Temporary item is null, no matter what. Like at this point, it's null. So that's setting bag slot x dot item. So that's taking this item. You know, you're taking the item. Technically, you're taking this item to take this little piece of you know armor or whatever, and you're duplicating it into the uh, in player hand, which is its current place, and then you're deleting the one that was left behind. Okay, this is the next line of code. Bag slot xy dot item. Oh no, that's one I just talked about. Okay, so now the pick selected pick selected item. So that's just a picture box. That's what makes this happen, being able to pick this up. It's just a picture box, and it's set to my mouse location. So the mouse location, remember we go up here, um, mouse location. That's all it is. It's just a picture box where I set the location to the mouse location. And um, the timer is what, because if you don't have the timer running, it will... Um, like it'll just stay right there and then you'll move your mouse you know wherever you click like if you click like this it'll just be right there but um that's why when i click on it you see like the fluctuating because that's the timer running and reloading all this graphics over and over again okay so the picture box um oh that's this picture box as well you know i said we'd talk about that that's this picture box it's just being set to um the location of your mouse and then also um, it's making it visible, but I think that might be in the timer where it does that. So, uh, oh, nope, right there. So, picture box equals true, visible, set to true. Uh, next, uh, item in hand equals true. So, item in hand is just a little variable that I used um, to basically, let's say, activate the timer. I probably should completely remove this variable and just set timer um, to true to run. I can't remember the code, but it's super simple. Um, and then this is kind of just some cleanup if bag equals null, bag slot uh, dot full equals false. Um, because that's just when I do this, you need to move this bag slot to false. Um, and then else, you could probably rip this little else out of there for this, I think. Once again, you know, sure it needs to be refactored. And then break because you don't need to run through more for loops than necessary. Now, that is all like what we just went over everything above is picking the item up everything uh below this else statement is going to be putting the item down that's going to be that code running so that's what i'll go into once again another double for loop and the same if statement that you figure out where figures out where your pointer is and that's how you get that's how you find out what um what slot you're clicking on is this um, XML X mouse location and Y mouse Y mouse location. Um, so when the, so it's going to run through the for loop and it's going to find the uh, bag slot with the proper X graphical location and Y graphical location um, that meets the requirements to get into this if statement. And then you're going to start running your code. All I did for these double for loops in this if statement is I copy and pasted the the two for loops just above, and then deleted all the code inside here and writ, wrote this code again. So that was fairly easy. Now, um, let's see here. OK, so once again, we have this temp item, which is just an item, um, an item slot that'll hold whatever is in the bag slot. So when I pick this up, you know, if I set it down here, there's nothing to really uh, worry about. You're just transferring the item from the temporary slot uh, or the hand slot, which is, you know, where it is now. It's in the hand. And then I'm putting it into the bag slot, X, the XY bag slot. And if there's something in that bag slot, you would need to be able to hold it in a variable or you'll lose it. So like when I put this sword and then I say this armor, it armor will go into the temporary item. Um, and then your bag slot dot item equals um, in player hand. So this that's me picking up this armor. I set it down. It's going from in player hand into the bag slot. 
and then this in player handout item equals temporary item. That's the like when I pick this up and I put this piece of armor down on top of this sword and the sword goes into my hand. That's that's a, this code running right here. You can't just take this sword and swap it. You can't really just swap code um, in programming. You have to move, you know, like if I pick up this sword and I put it down on this piece of armor, I have to move the armor into some, some sort of container, then move the sword into the bag slot, and then I can move the armor into the hand slot. Um, that way you won't lose any data. Now, we have to then determine um, with this if else statement, if in player hand equals null. So this is going to be if if I just do that, it's going to run here. So pick selected item uh, dot visible equals false. That's the picture box. Uh, once again, setting it to you know not setting it to invisible. Um, item in hand equals false. That's just nothing in the hand, and then. Uh, player hand dot x uh, equals negative one. All that does is set that so that the next time it'll run into this if statement. And then this else statement is if it doesn't, um, you need to change the picture box. So changes the picture box to a sword when I do that, changes it to the armor, changes it to the potion. A um, little more cleanup here. Set in your bag. Um, slot to false or true, depending on whether there's something in there. And then um, drawing complete inventory just calls the drawing function. That is really uh, about it. If you can, you know, if you understood that, you could probably go ahead and build this program without too much trouble. This um, this little thing here I will mention, pick selected item. This is um, kind of important because, like, when I have this in my hand, I cannot click anywhere except the picture box because the picture box right in front of my mouse, right? So all that does is it calls uh, this event, um, panel bag one dot click, which is this big main function. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, have a good have a good time, have fun with it. I'll go ahead and get that up on my Git account here in just a few minutes. So thank you and have a good day.